What do we got? Whiskey! Ooh, we like whiskey. Whiskey. It is a blended scotch whiskey, in fact. It is, it is. And you know what it is? What? It's really pretty. It is pretty. It's I really like it. It's got the, pretty. it's got the, what's that called? Pretty. The St. David's pretty. Cross? No, yeah. what's that called? Uh, St. George. St. Andrews. St. Andrews. Right? St. Andrews? One of them. Yeah, one of those saints. One of those. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's called a Fior. Blended yeah. Scotch whiskey, produced and bottled in Scotland. In Scotland. Yep. And it's what, 43% ABV? 43%. Okay, I've never heard of it. This is something new. It landed in our inbox, and then it landed on my doorstep. So I figured, hey, why not? And now it's going to land in my glass. You're damn right. And then it's going to land in pretty good. My belly. My belly. <laughs> my All right. Belly. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do. Scotch. Wait, scotch. Gonna... Scotch. All right. Hey. Nice. Little pop. I had to loosen nice. it. I don't know if that neck's going to give you a glug glug. No, I doubt it. But it was like a synthetic cork, so it was a little, little, little tough. Uh, 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 Fior is the first scotch to be owned by an American veteran. Major huh. Eric Domingiani, and I apologize because that's probably wrong, is a retired uh, Marine, and he had made himself a, quite a whiskey collection and had an Infinity bottle going. Huh. And as the Infinity bottle was wearing out, uh -huh. he called around to his friends to see if he could recreate what he had blended in the Infinity bottle, and this supposedly is something close to what he was drinking. Okay. An ultra premium blend of Highland and Speyside scotches with a high multigrain ratio of 40%. And it is uh, a silver medal winner at the New York International Spirits Competition, a platinum winner at the American Spirits Council of Tasters, double gold winner at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Hmm. So apparently... It's pretty good. People like it. What's the uh, 93? People like it. That's the... Uh, 2022 New York International Spirits Competition. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So it's won a bunch of medals, and uh, I had read the rest of the stuff, but it's all tasting notes, and I can't lead the witness. Okay. All right, let's do so it. So we'll see how it goes. Let's do it. All right, so cheers. There we uh, go. We Look at that. We finally figured it out. Look at that. Keep the ham hocks at the bottom. You know what I get? Tell me. Tiny bit of, uh, like, smoke, a little peat or something yeah. out of this. Hmm. It's probably Highland peat if it's peat. I guess Bayside typically not peated. No, maybe a maybe a touch. You know, I'm getting more like a, like a cigar wrapper, not really yeah. smoky, but yeah. like like just yeah, like yeah. a tobacco yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. But then I get like you know the spices, the nice little like uh, bacon spices. I get the candy, the toffee, the vanilla. I mean, it smells good. Yeah. It smells really nice. It smells really really good. I, I don't really get smoke. I get more like nice. tobacco, that sweet tobacco. I'm just know? getting like yeah, you're a cigar like, guy. Yeah, just getting that like that little not yeah, just whiskey, a little, whiskey, a little touch of something. Right, I'm going in. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's, just, let's not dilly. Let's not dally. It's got a nice, nice mouthfeel to it. That's it's a little nice. thick. It's a little viscous. Yeah, and it's not just front, middle, or back. It's kind of, you know, a little bit of everything. Mm. It, has, it has a decent finish. For me, Mostly it's, up front, but you get a little yeah, finish. A little bit. Decent finish. That's mm. nice. It's like kind of... It's almost a little syrupy. It's got a little thickness to it. It's got a pretty good heat, and the yeah. second time I'm getting even more heat. Yeah. You know, all the baking spices. It's almost got like a caramelized sugar kind of thing going. Yeah. You know? Like, again, I know we've talked about it before, but like, you know, when you bake the pie and you get the, the fruit, the juices that yeah. come up to the top and they kind of crystallize and caramelize, yeah. I'm getting that. But like, maybe like peaches and apples. Do you happen to have one of those pies, Andy? No. Then zip it. <laughs> zip it, I got some. I got some Jamaica beef patties <laughs> in the freezer. Zip it. You want to Jamaica beef patties? not going to be the same caramelized flavors of apples and peaches. Well, if you bake it long enough. That, uh... That's good. I like that. Hmm. And that I, is very nice. I went out the interwebs, and this bottle is about forty-five dollars. That's not bad. Which I think that's a pretty good deal. For no, me. it's nice. It's it's got a nice, well-rounded yeah. flavor to yeah. it. You know, like like what would be one of the other Highlands, like the ones that I've never really cared for, like like Dalmore. Yeah. I drink this over at Dalmore. Yeah. I like yeah. it. It's got a nice round. They got a nice round. They got a round the flavors. Yeah, it's got some. It's got a nice balance. It's got a little spice. You get a little bit of sweetness, you know, like kind of a, like a biscuity, fruity yeah. sweetness kind of thing. No, it's good. That, that's not bad. And you said, what was it, $45, $50? About $45, yeah. No, it's a nice alternative. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to be smoky like, let's say, like a Johnny Walker Black or yeah, something like that. Know. They're probably around the same price range. Yeah. But, so, but again, if you're looking for the gateway to yeah. bring someone in, there's really nothing offensive in no, this. No, 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 no. This no, no, no. really has a nice, well-rounded flavor. It does. It. And, it's and, nice. let's not forget... It's got a beautiful bottle. Oh, it's, so it's really, really it nice. Is, it's so pretty. I like. I, I, you know, I didn't really think of it before that it's a Scottish flag. Yeah. You know, I was like, oh, what the hell? That looks pretty cool. And then it's like, ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I and it. Fior means 
pure or clean or whatever. So okay. All right. Pick the name that created a nice clean spirit. Yeah, no, no, no. It's good. Nice. I like it. I like it. So I don't know. I'd go. I'd actually almost go like B plus A minus. Yeah, I think I'm going 90, I'd go 91 like, on this. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I give it yeah. a 90. I yeah. think it's just think really so. good. It's just really, really nice. I think so. I could see this being good mixing too. Yeah. Like a nice highball. Maybe even. I mean, I don't really go for Rob Roy's, but you can yeah, make a nice Rob Roy. Right. Who doesn't like a, a nice Manhattan? Or maybe Rob like Roy. a. Can you do a Scottish old fashioned? Why not? Why not? Why the hell not? It's your liquor. Do whatever you want with it. Yeah, exactly. Just buy the damn thing and drink it. So, yeah, I like it. That's a nice, that's so, a nice bottle. So, thank you to the folks at Fior for sending yeah. us along. It's very, very good. And thank you for your service. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to Fior. Sounds good. Cheers. Cheers.